Okay, now in this video, let us look at how do we find out the square roots of a number. So we, we already saw a couple of methods of finding squares. Now we will look at how to find square roots. And of the different approaches available to find a square root, we will be looking at three different methods. The first method is that of repeated subtraction. And I will go into the details of this method in this video. In the next two videos, we are going to cover the other two methods. That is the prime factorization, which we already learned in our earlier classes, the method of prime factorization, but we'll apply the concept of prime factorization to finding square roots. And then we will also look at the division method. So now let us look at finding square root using repeated subtraction. Now let us say that we are given a number 25 and I know it's straightforward. You can just do it five times five is 25 and you could do it verbally, but I would like to explain the method and therefore I'm taking a simple number. So how do we use this repeated subtraction method? What essentially we are going to do is to use the property of squares being represented as the sum of an odd number. So let's say that you have a number n, okay, and you want to find out the square, all you do is you add the first n odd natural numbers to get the square, okay. It actually gives you square of n. That's what, so we are going to use this property, which means that if we start subtracting, or if we subtract the first n odd natural numbers, then we should be able to arrive at the square of this 25. So let me explain that. Now, what are the first n odd numbers? So let's start from, you know, we, we start subtracting the odd numbers one by one. So let's say 25, minus the first odd number is one. So this gives us 24. Now this is our first subtraction. Now the second subtraction would be with this next odd number that is 24 minus three. What does it give? It gives us 21. Now let us subtract with the third odd number that is 21. So this result needs to be subtracted with the next odd number that is five or 21 minus five would give you 16. Okay, now let us continue this further. And we I would say that I would like to subtract 16 minus the next odd number is seven. So in this case, it is going to be nine, right? And then the next odd number is actually nine minus nine and you get zero. So as you can see how many times we have subtracted. So we have subtracted five times and the odd numbers that we have is like one, three, five, seven and nine. So one plus three plus five plus seven plus nine equals 25. And you can see that this is the sum of first n odd natural numbers that is five, right? Hence the square root of 25 is five. And you can do this for other numbers. Just take up a number, let us say 81, pause the video, take this number 81 and try to find the square root of this number using this repeated subtraction. So all you do is you start subtracting this number by one first, then you subtract the result by the next odd number, which is three, then by five, by seven, by nine, and you keep on doing the subtraction till you get a zero. That's what you need to do. Now, what do you think is a problem with this method? Though it is simple, the problem with this method is, imagine what happens if you are given, let us say, a number which is big. For example, let's take 625. Now this is a huge number and I can recollect from my memory that it's a square of 25. The square root of 625 will be 25. However, if you were to do 25 repeated subtractions 
from 625 so you start with 625 minus 1 then you get 624 then you say 624 minus 3 and so on and on and you have to do this 25 times so the fundamental problem here is that as you get a big square number applying this repeated subtraction method becomes a big pain and therefore we should be looking at another method okay so in this video we learned about what the repeated subtraction method is and what are the challenges that we face with the repeated subtraction method in the next video we will look at the prime factorization method